What's up guys and welcome back to another football video. Now today I'm joined with Nellis and Cami, and what we are doing today is going to be showing you guys how to improve your chances on scoring in the goal. We've got a good keeper, he is going to try and save everything but we're going to give you some tips that hopefully can beat him or any keeper that you come up against whether it be in football challenges or in an actual match. So let's get into the challenges and let's do this. How many likes should you try and hit? Oh, um, let's go for... Well, actually, before we get into it, I want to say, if they hit this light target, we will do the two versus two challenge that you guys have been wanting in the last video. So, what are we going for? So, wait, does it have to be achievable or what? It has to be achievable. Okay, um, two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand likes, let's get into but it. But if they're feeling cheeky, five thousand. Okay, five thousand, if you feel 5, like 000. it, let's get into the challenges. Okay, so the first challenge, is for you free kick takers. What we found out is if you get a friend to stand in front of the ball, it hides where you're gonna put it and the keeper has a bit of a less chance of guessing where you're going. So we're gonna take five free kicks each and we're gonna try and beat the keeper and let's see how useful this tip is. Okay. Right, the other way. Not that. No, as in you stand behind the ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, attempt number one, let's do this. Okay, he didn't know oh, where I was going. going. I rooted going. him. Yeah, you rooted him. Just still. Yeah, I just hit it over though. I forgot <laughs> to mention that you have to be pretty good at taking free kicks. But to be fair, that was pretty close. The keeper was rooted. Let's go again. Right, here we go. Boom! There we go. What a free kick. Once again, the keeper was rooted. He had no idea. Shot number three. Let's see if we can make it two out of three. Oh, good save, good save. Now, obviously, these tips aren't 100% gonna make you score every shot. I mean, that's impossible, but they are gonna help you improve it. We have a good keeper, I'm not gonna lie. So he is gonna save some of them. Fourth shot, I've gotta beat him though. Okay, so fourth shot, I think it's time to bring out the Wolfie free kick. I'm going for the opposite post, top corner. Let's do it. What a free kick. The Wolfie free kick comes out again. Let's go. Okay, so shot number five, let's end it with a bang. We're going for three out of five. Woo! I thought I'd switch it up a little bit, go for the accuracy of the bottom corner, beaten. Right, so Wolf done extremely well there, three out of five. Three kicks, I wouldn't say are really my thing. So, you know what, with this little trick, let's see if I can maybe improve them a bit. And if I can get anywhere near Wolfie, I'm going up for my first one now. Right, so first one, and I'm gonna try and whip it into that right hand corner. Oh, no! Damn it! You see, I told you guys, I was aiming for that right side, I was aiming for that top right, and we hit the bar. It was a good first attempt. I'll tell you what, the keeper was stood still, so this could be a thing. All right, shot number two, and for this shot, you know what, I'm gonna switch it up a bit. No, I'm not. I said that purposely loud. I'm gonna go the right side again. Oh! Wait, what a save. The first two shots have been amazing and an amazing save there by Cami, but it's time to get some in. Oh, that could not be any more top in. <laughs> Shot number four. Got two attempts now to make sure that I at least level with Wolfie. Uh, with this one, I'm gonna, now I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go top left, or left side. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Right, so shot number five. All the free kicks have been decent. I do, and I said at the beginning of the video, free kicks is not really my thing. I am getting better at them, and this has only just helped me as well. So, you know what, it's looking positive. Last shot, let's try and end it off with a goal. Oh. oh, that was so close. He, I was trying he to guess the other way. He guessed the other way. He went the other way. My body tricked him. And there we go. So I got one out of five, but I hit the bar. Yeah, I you think got twice. Close. Yeah. So I got close. Pretty solid little trick. Yeah. Hack, whatever you want to call it. Right, let's get into the next challenge. The next challenge is for when you guys are attacking or maybe counter attacking another team. So what we're going to have is a teammate run down the wing and pull it back. And what this challenge is gonna do is to show you where to shoot the ball, which 90% of the time is gonna go in. So they're gonna pull it back, and what you need to do is aim for the inner post on the opposite side of the goal, because the keeper is gonna be guarding his near post because he doesn't wanna get beaten. If the guy decides to shoot or cross, he's gonna try and cut it out. So what you need to do is aim 
for the other side of the post. You can either side foot it, which will get you the most accuracy, or lace it if you want to put that power on and make sure you beat it. But let's go. We've got five attempts to do this. Let's see how well we can do. Okay, so I'm up first. Now, as a striker, what I tend to do when running in the box is I try to stay back a little bit, hang by the penalty spot, and then make that forward run to the near post, and then hit it into the far post. So the defender has no idea where I'm going. I try and confuse him with my run. Let's get into it. Let's go. Right, first attempt. Let's do this. Come on. Hey, come on. There we go, I scored the first attempt. Like I said, the keeper doesn't have enough time to get over, unless he's like Usain Bolt. But second attempt, let's try and make it two out of two. Go. Okay, so I've gone for placement with the first attempt. I got it under. The second attempt, I went for the power. I beat him. He got a hand to it, but the power was too much. This time again, I'm going for placement. I'm not going to put as much power on. Hopefully, he doesn't get across in time. I'm just going to try and slide it into that bottom corner. Oh, what a save! Okay, attempt number four. I've currently scored two. Cammy just did an incredible save. I didn't put enough on it. He got across. Obviously, he knows what we're doing, but a keeper in a real match won't be able to read it as much. But let's get into the fourth attempt and score again. Power again. Finish. See that last one there? I knew he was going to try and come across, so I just went for the straight power. But this time, my last shot, I'm going to aim for that inner post. Like I said, hopefully, it gives him no chance and we'll be able to score it. Right, so Wolfie's office explained everything, what's happening here. It's a situation where you will find yourself in football matches, so the more you practice it, the more you get better, and the more you'll finish it past the keeper. I'm going up for my first attempt, let's go. So that was such an insane save by Cami. Although, he does know where we're shooting, whereabouts we're shooting, but it is a good save. Second shot. Okay, so shot number three. Two amazing saves by Cami. I feel like it's about time we get some in. Go, left hand corner. Right, so there we are. There is the goal shot number three. Two more shots left. Let's go. I'm feeling, feeling good about it. Right. right, so there we go. Put a bit of power onto that bottom left hand corner again. The exact corner we're aiming for. Last shot. Can we get three out of five? Oh, there we go! Kami did actually get the slightest fingertips to that, put so much power into it. He wasn't just able to save it, but three out of five, solid round. Okay, we're on to the final challenge, and now what we've decided to do is test the keeper even more, because in a game, when it's getting to the later stages, the 90th minute, extra time, the keeper's legs start to go, <laughs> his mental strength starts to go as well. So what we've done, to act on that is put weight on his ankles. So we're gonna take some pop shots and see how well we can save them. And what we're saying to you for this tip is because in the later stages of the game, the keeper does get tired, what we suggest is to take some pop shots because he's not gonna be as mentally focused as the start of the game. He's to take them shots and try and get him in because his leg will be heavy. So me and Nellis are now gonna test out Cammy. He's got the weights on, he's in goal. We're just gonna take a couple shots and see if we can score. Let's get into it. This time. 
top left. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. How well do you think they, uh, those tips helped? Uh, uh, it helped me. Definitely. Uh, the one that helped me the most was the free kick. Yeah, I, I, love, I, I love agree. That. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, do smash that like button. How many likes? There were 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. He's gone for it. He's gone big. But do let us know in the comment section if these tips have helped you as well. But I've been your boy Wolfie. This is Nellis. This is Cammy. Subscribe if you are new. Check their channels out. But we're out. <laughs>